August 15th, 2017, Charlottesville. Mr. Reagan. Well, excuse me. I've condemned neo-Nazis. I've condemned many different groups, but not all of those people were neo-Nazis, believe me. Not all of those people were white supremacists by any stretch. Those people were also there because they wanted to protest the taking down of a statue, Robert E. Lee. Are you putting what you're calling the alt-left and white supremacists on the same moral plane? I'm not putting anybody on a moral plane. What I'm saying is this. You had a group on one side and you had a group on the other and they came at each other with clubs and it was vicious and it was horrible and it was a horrible thing to watch. But there is another side. There was a group on this side, you can call them the left, you've just called them the left, that came violently attacking the other group. So you can say what you want, but that's the way it is. Yes, I think there's blame on both sides. You look at, you look at both sides. I think there's blame on both sides, and I have no doubt about it, and you don't have any doubt about it either. And, 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 and if you reported it accurately, you would say. Excuse me. Excuse me. They didn't put themselves down as you. And you had some very bad people in that group. But you also had people that were very fine people on both sides. The point that Trump was really trying to make is that the protesters were pretty messed up too. They were pretty bad people. But the press focused exclusively on the marchers. They had no interest in covering how vulgar, horrible, and violent, really violent, the protesters of the marchers were. And they were, I actually genuinely think the protesters were worse than the marchers. I don't support white supremacy. I don't support white nationalism, neo-Nazis. I don't like that stuff. But I certainly don't like people going out and intentionally causing violence. Okay, that's just as bad. I know these people feel like righteous indignation, right? Oh, oh they're, they're racist, so we, we have the right to murder them. No, you don't. I think what we have to do in America is stop hating people for their ideas and simply hate the ideas, but show some modicum of respect to the people who hold those ideas. Because you're never going to convince somebody that they're wrong if you just act hateful toward them, okay? That's not going to help things. You're not going to convince a single Charlottesville marcher that they're wrong by physically attacking them. Okay? That's not going to happen. So were there fine people on both sides? Maybe there were. You know, if Donald Trump thinks that, it doesn't make him evil. He's certainly not a racist. And this is just another one of those instances where the press is just trying to find a way to, to spin it so that Donald Trump looks like a racist. And to me, it is despicable. The goal for all of us should be that one day things will be done neither because of nor in spite of any of the differences between us ethnic differences or racial differences, whatever they may be, but we will have total equal opportunity for all people. And I would do everything I could in my power to bring that about.